All right, I got this one all ready to go as far as um, stuff on the inside here. I got gas in it, which is good. Um, you can see detail still working on getting this in tonight, so I'll make sure that it's outside for you definitely though. Um, both those windshield wipers are getting replaced. So that's just one um, extra too. So you can see on here, starting on your door, um, you got your buttons up on top here, so these power extend your mirrors. So that button power folds your mirrors. You can do that while you're driving as well. That's your child lock button. And this is how you can control each mirror and then adjust it there. Um, you also have the heated mirrors as well, and those come on with your defrost. So the bottom part of that mirror, the blind spot part of that mirror, that's the one that you have to move manually. Otherwise, everything else is under power. Um, memory seating here. So you set your seat. You set your foot pedals, which are down below here, and your mirrors, and they all work together with your memory seating, which is really nice. Um, and then you just press and hold to save any of that stuff. So press and hold to save it, and then it'll pop up here saying that it's saved. Pretty slick. So these are lights on each side mirror, um, and it'll actually show up as on when they're on. And it's just little puddle lights underneath each side mirror that are LED, so it does do a pretty good job if you're losing keys or whatever. All the way to the right is automatic, fog lights here. That turns on the lights, um, the cab light in the back, so the one directly above um, your brake light, so directly above the bed there. And then you have the, that brightens and dims your dash lights there. You have your normal um, parking brake. Steering wheel adjust, so that flips down, goes in and out, up and down, wherever you need it to go. Telescopes. Let's see if I can zoom back here. There we go. Um, so you got your normal cruise control on the steering wheel here. This controls your instrument cluster. A lot of cool stuff on your instrument cluster here. So you can see. So you can see most people have it on digital speedometer, but you can see a bunch of different things on here. Um, this is going to be your normal view, and then you can kind of scroll up and down through here, and you see exactly what's going on in here. You know, same with, you know, your trip. So when you press and hold OK to reset any of that stuff. But a lot of good stuff. Um, you know, one really cool thing, too, and this is new for 2017. Um, is all this towing status and towing information and you can put your trailer in there which is really slick you just basically go through the whole setup uh, on your trailer like how long it is and how heavy and things like that so advanced settings that's where you're going to be able to adjust some of the things that might annoy you so like this rear parkade that's the backup sensor so it's going to be beeping at you when you're backing up you know if it's snowy or something and it's beeping at you and it annoys you you can turn that off there otherwise you got your normal settings here um, I just like to show, you know, like lighting. You know, if you want your day day uh, time lights on, locks if you want. All the doors to unlock when you hit the unlock button, rem remote unlock. You know, you can uh, you can control a lot of different settings there. Yeah, pretty straightforward. Any sensors, anything like that, is going to be on your settings on your instrument cluster here. I'll go back to that digital speedometer. Most people have it on digital speedometer. You know, you can have it on whatever you want. Um, but that's just the most common. And then you can kind of search through and see um, what you need from there. All right. Other than that, so you got your normal phone hookup. So that answers, hangs up calls, mute. That's your voice commands. This is all of your um, media stuff. So M's just going to change the mode. So you, that's how you change it from Sirius, AM, FM. Um, so I got all that stuff there. You got Seek on your steering wheel there, and then you also have your volume controls as well. So pretty slick there. Four wheel drive, shift on the fly, and then normal brake controller. As far as the touch screen goes, this is the Sync 3 system. Home will always get you back to the main screen, and then you can also select these buttons down below as well as touch the icons up in front. So if you're looking at your navigation here, you know, and you want to punch in like your home and your work and things like that, I love that you just just punch it all in and then it'll let you know 
every time um, exactly how far you are away from your house, things like that. Previous destinations all save as well. Let's see, yeah. oh, everything is off this one. Um, I do want to show you something too here. So I'm just going to punch in Taco Bell. So I just wanted to take me to Taco Bell quick here. Uh, we'll start. Obey traffic laws, be alert, and use voice commands while driving. And I always Please like to look at it on the home screen here so you can see everything. But you can blow it up um, with that button as well just by clicking on it. So if you're like halfway home and you're like, oh, I know where I'm going from here. I don't need this lady talking to me anymore. You just click this voice command button. Please say a command. Cancel route. Are you sure you want to cancel your route? Yes. Canceling route. So, you know, you just cancel it. It's pretty easy. Um, otherwise, you can cancel it on your screen here. But I always use the voice commands when I'm driving. Other than that, you can control some of your climate stuff up on top, but you do have most of your climate controls down below. So, for example, your uh, dial on the bottom here controls your temperature um, for both. If you do hit that dual on, that means you can have separate climate. It's one at 60, one at 80, if that makes sense. Traction control. So. Um, you know, if you're gonna want to have any fun in the snow or anything like that, traction control has gone a long ways. So, you know, it's something, I guess, if you're stuck, that would be the main thing when you want to maybe turn that off to get both tires spinning. But for the most part, you'll probably want to leave it on. All right, so sources. So if you do pair up your phone, you uh, can listen to music there. You got a CD player here. All the rest is pretty self-explanatory. Um, now, as far as, oh, I do kind of want to show you how to uh, add a radio station, too. So, like, 1021, for example. Say you like 1021. You just press and hold to save any of that stuff. So, pretty simple there, too. Um, but, yeah, as far as your phone. Let's see. Let me delete that one right away. That's how you delete a phone, but yeah, to add it, it's pretty easy. You just click Search add device, on your device and, and uh, it once it is found. you click discover Bluetooth devices and you just pair it up like normal. It's really slick. And as long as you have your Bluetooth on, it'll always go through your speakers. Otherwise it'll also, um, so it'll pair up automatically. So you shouldn't have to worry about it as long as your Bluetooth's on. Then you know, you got your heated and cooled seats down below here. Um, you got your normal climate stuff in the middle. USB ports as well. Here's that check. This is the registration. And then here's your temp tag. So I'm gonna leave that all in the center console here, along with your key. But I'm gonna make sure that those guys um, clean this up first, so. And hopefully it doesn't snow anymore tonight. Just coming down pretty good right now. Hopefully it doesn't snow anymore, and uh, hey, we should be driving home in a nice clean truck. So let me know if you have any questions. Um, I know I kind of went through everything pretty fast. Oh yeah, you do have some other controls here too. Close that for a sec. Um, so this controls the the dome light on the left, dome light on the right. That turns all the lights on. That'll if your doors are open, your lights won't come on. So if you want your lights to come on with the doors, you want to leave that on, and then that turns all the lights off. So, um, auxiliary switches. If you were going to hook anything up, that's all under the, the hood there. And then this is a button for your power sliding window back here. So, 110 volt and 12 volt there as well. And you also have your book and everything in there. So if you have any questions, you got that stuff there too kind of a reference yeah should be all set i'll leave it right out directly in front of our store um kind of where you parked last time and uh yeah let, like i said if you have any questions or anything let me know and i will just kind of take a quick peek and show you what that fifth wheel looks like too um while we're on camera here